Hello guys, so today we're going to be building the Canadian National ET4 for AC 3069 Heritage Unit Minecraft. Now this is the Wisconsin Central Heritage Unit, and this was a request by Annie Marie 303, or Mark Annie Marie 303, um, Union Pacific ET4 for AC. And, um, not only did I build this because they requested it, but also because I actually saw this heritage unit in person, and it was my first heritage unit ever. And, uh, I was really happy to go see this. Um, and, uh, I can thank heritageunits.com for helping me find it. And, uh, anyway, yeah, let's get started on the tutorial. So we're gonna grab the black concrete and the nether brick stairs in the acacia fence gate and uh once you have all those items um we're gonna go add three nether brick stairs on the ground like that and then add upside down ones on the sides like that and they're gonna add a acacia fence gate in the middle and open it facing toward the back and then behind it we're gonna add about 32 black concrete so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. And then we're going to add another um, fence gate, but this time it's going to be a birch fence gate, so you're going to want to grab that. And uh, then we're going to open it facing toward the front this time. And now in the front, we're going to add two black concrete on the sides, so it looks like that. And on the back, we're actually going to add black concrete on the sides, and underneath, and on the corners around the birch fence gate. Basically everywhere except the top three blocks going around it. Um, so it looks like this. And they're going to add one more on the top. And now we're going to add upside down another brick stairs, so it looks like that. And now we're going to grab the uh, black concrete, and we're going to add kind of an L shape like that. So one on this row, and then two on the next row. And like I'm doing right now, we're going to do that in every corner. And then we're going to add a black concrete in the middle here like this and then upside down another brick stairs facing toward the middle so on the front it'd be facing toward the back and in the back it'd be facing toward the front and uh, then we're gonna grab the dark oak fence gate and we're gonna add dark oak fence gates in this block like that And then we're going to add smooth quartz slabs going up into a staircase like this. And uh, once that's done, we're actually going to grab the um, nether brick wall now. And we're going to add another brick wall in here, then a black concrete, then two nether brick walls, a black concrete, and do that again two nether brick walls, a black concrete, and then another brick wall, and do the same thing on the other side, like this. And we're going to do that in every corner, so add one nether brick wall, one black concrete, two nether brick walls, a black concrete, two nether brick walls again, a black concrete, and another brick wall. And they're going to fill in the rest of the middle with black concrete. And it should be 10 blocks long, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And uh, now we're going to grab the gray concrete and the hoppers, like this. And uh, we're then going to, um, in this middle block here, in the middle of these three blocks here, we're going to add black concrete. And we're going to do it around here in these single blocks down here in the very middle down below like that. And then we're going to add gray concrete in the rest of the blocks sticking out like this on the bottom. And then 
they're gonna add dark oak fence gates in between all the black concretes. And then, um, here are gonna add a sideways one and open it just like this. And then after that, we're gonna add hoppers on the gray concretes like that. And then after that, we're, um, we're gonna grab the black concrete, and then these ten middle blocks. Um, we're gonna fill this in with, um, black concrete, and that's for the fuel tank. Um, the fuel tank is on the bottom here, in the middle. Um, and, um, well, you can probably tell why it's called a fuel tank. So, uh, let's do the fuel tank first. It's a lot more simpler. So we're gonna add, um... Upside down another brick stairs on the 10 blocks on the fuel tank on both sides and on the right side um so we're gonna get rid of an item so let's see let's get rid of the birch fence gate and let's grab the nether brick slab and on the right side we're gonna fill all these upside down stairs in with nether brick slabs on the left side however we're going to add two black concrete on the two stairs closest to the back, and three on the ones closest to the front. And then we're going to add two nether brick stairs in sides, and there should be one block in the middle, which is going to be a sideways dark oak fence gate, and open it towards the back. And let's also add one behind there, like that, um, toward the back, for an extra detail. And, uh, now let's, uh, do the wheels, um, since we're done the fuel tank. Oh, actually, before we do that, um, let's add the buttons on the fuel tank for detail. So let's grab the dark oak button, acacia button, and the birch button, which we can quickly get all that like that. And I just realized that's been, uh, not right-clicked the whole time. So anyway... You see this back black concrete from these three here? We're going to add an acacia button on that one and a birch button right there. And on these two here, the very back one is going to have a dark oak button. And now let's grab the nether brick stairs, nether brick slabs, and daylight detector. And on the gray concretes, we're going to add nether brick stairs. And then we're going to add upside down ones on the sides of the normal regular facing stairs. I just call them regular facing, but that's not a very good name. Um, I'm going to start calling them right side up. Well, I mean, I have, but I should start doing it more now. Um, because I don't usually, and um, I think I probably should. Um... Now, if you've actually seen this locomotive in person, or seen it on Google Images before, or YouTube, or whatever, if you've just seen it before, you probably notice it has a really dark red, but I decided to make it red concrete because red nether bricks would be ugly, so I did red concrete. Um, and, uh, there are red nether brick slabs in the back here, but anyway, let's add some nether brick slabs above the right side upstairs. Above the upside down ones though, um, we're gonna add daylight detectors and right click them so they're darker. It's an extra detail I do. And also you may notice that this one has a dark oak fence gate. Just leave that alone. Don't add daylight detectors there. Um, but everywhere else that doesn't have something blocking it, just add it and, uh, um, once that's done, um, we don't really have anything to do until we start with the debug sticks, which I'm not, um, quite sure that we should yet. Um, let's grab the smooth quartz slab, 
And above these open fence gates, we're going to add some smooth quartz slab. And, uh, now let's actually add the coupling and all the details underneath. And then we'll add this fence thing after that. And then we'll, uh, maybe do the debug sticks. Um, but anyway, um, we got to grab the, uh, nether brick slab, the lever, the dark oak fence gate, tripwire hook, birch button, um, and the dark oak slab. And I'll give you time to get all that, so. I'll just hold the tripwire hook. So you're gonna get all that. Um, I'll give you time to get all that. And once you get all that, um, on the front, um, we're gonna add a sideways dark oak fence gate right here in the middle, on um, front of this, um, another brick stairs, and then open dark oak fence gates on the sides, like that. And then we're gonna add a dark oak slab in the middle there for the coupling, and then tripwire hooks on the sides for details. And then we're gonna add birch buttons for more details, little white spots. And on the back, it's gonna be similar, but instead of a sideways dark oak fence gate, and a dark oak slab, we're gonna add a nether brick slab, and a lever, but the rest is actually the same. So open dark oak fence gates, tripwire hooks, and birch buttons. And now it's time for that little fence thing, like that. It's actually quite big, so we're gonna grab the red sandstone wall, acacia fence, birch fence, birch fence gate, and the chain, and the white carpet, and the end rod and that's quite a lot so I'll give you time to get all that and I'll even place it on the ground so that you can see what to get and this time it actually has stuff that always places so that we can actually place stuff there like that and have everything be there and once that's done I'm gonna remove all that because I don't need to place it there anymore and we're gonna add, let's start on the back. So let's add red sandstone walls. And then above those red sandstone walls, we're gonna add acacia fence. And that's supposed to be red, but we can't quite have red yet. We haven't gone that far in Minecraft yet, so we're just gonna place red sandstone and acacia fence. And then we're gonna add birch fence gates on the sides there. And birch fences on the sides there, up here, and two down there as well. And uh, then we're going to add a sideways chain in the middle. And let's do the same thing on the front, like, it's literally the exact same. Even the chains there, all the birch stuff, acacia and red sandstone stuff. And... On the front, we're just going to add one on those sides there, but on the back, we're going to add three. Right here, just like that. And then a white carpet above. And, uh, on these, uh, smooth quartz slabs here, on the front, we're going to add end rods above them. The little stairs. And, uh, now let's, uh, type in slash clear to get rid of our inventory. Or just to get rid of all your items. And let's grab the red nether brick slab. The normal nether brick slab. And the end rod. And on the back, we're going to add red nether brick slabs on the sides. There, like that. And then two end rods above. And then let's add three nether brick slabs in the middle there. Just like that. And, uh... Now one more detail before we move on to the end, or not end rods, debug sticks. So let's grab the smooth quartz block, item frame, and red wool. And I'll give you time to get all that, because it could take a minute or two to get. Or not a minute or two, um, probably like about up to 30 seconds really. Um, so on these um, red sandstone walls, we're going to add item frames with smooth quartz blocks on both sides. 
And then, um, from, um, well, this is hard to explain, but on the front, we're gonna add, um, an item frame with a red wool in it. On the right, acacia fence. And then from the back perspective, we're also gonna add an item frame on the right, acacia fence. Um, it's more of a visually see thing. Um, I also did this on my EJ and E Heritage unit, which was requested by someone else. Um, we're not gonna get too much into that because we're doing this right now. But, uh, once you got that done, if you aren't doing debug sticks because you don't have any, or you just don't feel like using them right now, then, uh, um, you can just watch what I'm doing or skip until eventually we're, um, um, you know, uh, like, going back to non-debug stick stuff. If you are doing the debug sticks, then you're going to type in in the chat, slash give, at, s, debug, and then you can type tab, and then press enter, and it will give you a debug stick in your inventory. And then you're also going to want to grab the, um, birch button, acacia button, dark oak button, and, um, a block of your choice. I'm choosing black concrete, but you choose whatever you want. And we're going to start with these lights. So we're going to get birch buttons, and we're going to debug stick the birch buttons onto the item frames with smooth quartz blocks. The one with red wool, though, are going to get acacia buttons. So it looks like that. It's a nice touch, I add. Um, but it's quite complicated if you don't have debug sticks. And today I don't feel like waiting to do all the debug sticks. I figure we just do it as we go so that we don't have to do it all at the end. It's quite a good idea, honestly. And now we're done with the lights. So, uh, all these nether brick slabs are gonna get stuff. So the ones on the sides are gonna get dark oak buttons, but the one in the middle is actually gonna get an acacia button because there's a little red thing. And that's gonna happen in every corner. So we're gonna do that here. And you know what, there's actually a lot of detail in this spot. So we're actually, um, on this dark oak fence gate, we're gonna get a birch button there. And then we can continue our dark oak button and acacia button thing here. And we're also going to get um, birch buttons on the daylight detectors on the dark oak button here on the front left. Right here, like that, um, if you can kind of see. Um, the left side got a lot of buttons. Now the right side's a lot simpler. Um, so first we're going to get the fuel tank, so this first slab is going to be left alone, but this one after is going to get birch buttons, and the two after is going to have acacia buttons, like that. And then these slabs on the sides are going to have dark oak buttons, and then the middle one is going to get the acacia button, and then we're going to do the same thing on the back as well. Dark oak button, acacia, dark oak. Now you guys might be wondering, how come you're not looking to make sure that's how you're doing it in every corner? Well, because I already know from building this, I remember. And I've looked at this a lot. Um, so, I already kind of know. Um, wait, I actually just noticed something that's cool. I'm not going to talk about it, but yeah. It's cool. It's that this is actually longer than how it would usually be on the sand heritage units. Because now you guys probably want to know since I said that. So yeah. Now, uh, let's grab the red concrete and the yellow concrete and the smooth quartz block. And the cyan terracotta. And the oak stairs. And the oak slab. And the acacia stairs, okay, I gotta place this on the ground, because that's a lot. And you guys probably want me to place this on the ground so that, um, it doesn't take a while, because, um, you have to pause and keep rewinding so that you can get it all, so you need time. So I'll just place it here. These are all the blocks you need. Uh, and once you got all those items, 
um, we're gonna add red concrete on the sides here, like that, and then three yellow concrete in the middle, and then for the second row, we're gonna add just two yellow concrete on the sides, and a red in the middle, and then above that red in the middle, we're gonna add cyan terracotta, and then we're gonna add an oak stairs on the sides, and then an oak slab on the far sides. And now let's add a smooth quartz block on both sides for the little heritage unit thingy that is on the side of all heritage unit locomotives. And then above we're going to add yellow concrete. And after that on both sides we're going to add a 2x4 of red concrete. Well actually on the right side. Um, this row is going to be removed. Um, it's hard to explain which row it is, but you guys can probably take a good look at what it is. Now on the top here, we're going to add a red concrete behind there. And I'll actually deal with that later. Um, right now it's at acacia stairs on the sides, like that. Now let's do some details. So first up, let's grab the oak fence gate. And let's add opened oak fence gates above the end rods, and two on the right here as well. And then this um, red concrete here and the sand terracotta above are both going to have birch buttons. And on the sand terracotta, we're going to add an item frame with smooth quartz block. And I'll actually give you time to do that, because that could take a minute. Or not a minute, but when I say a minute, you know what I mean. Um, and then once that's done, let's add a black carpet above. And now the next detail is going to require debug sticks. So if you don't have debug sticks, well, do the same thing as last time. Just wait or skip. And we're going to get on this oak stairs on the left a warped button for um, a little green detail thing that's on. Lots of sand, GE or GVO locomotives. It's also on, uh, like, SD-70s as well. SD-70ACEs and SD-70M-2s. Now, anyway, let's add three black concrete behind there. Um, oh, if you didn't do the b debug sticks, we're gonna grab black concrete and get some behind there. And on the sides, we're gonna add birch buttons for extra detail. And on the left side, we're gonna add a birch button on that yellow in the front. And on the right, do the same. And on the left, we're going to add an oak button right there on this back yellow concrete. And then on uh, the smooth quartz block on both sides, we're going to add dark oak buttons. So it looks just like that. And then on the right, we're going to add an acacia button right on the top there. Now let's grab the red wool and the acacia slab. Now let's add a red roll there, and an acacia slab above. And that's for a little uh, vent detail I did. And then behind this acacia stairs, on the right side, we're going to add nine yellow concrete. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, on the left side, we're going to add four yellow concrete. And now let's grab the birch button, and behind this um, heritage thingy with the uh, smooth quartz block, we're going to add another birch button. And then let's add an opened acacia trap door, and let's grab the stone button. And then we're going to add a stone button, and then another open, or another opened acacia trap door. And now on the right side, you see this vent detail thingy? Well, above that, we're going to add a crimson button for the Wisconsin Central Heritage Unit. Now on this yellow concrete, lining up with the stone button on there, we're going to add a crimson button on that yellow concrete. Just like that. And now we're going to grab the red concrete, and staring behind these three black concretes, we're going to add a little bit of an I shape, or an uppercase I, because it has three behind there, and then a T shape above. So it looks like that. And, 
After that, we're actually gonna add um white carpet above like that. And then we're gonna add acacia stairs on the sides so it looks like that. And then we're gonna add black stained glass block for windows in the front or windshields. And let's add open acacia trap doors on the sides like that. And now we're going to grab the dark oak sign and the white die. And on those sides, we're going to press enter and type in 3069. Now usually I am, you're supposed to go to Google and find a number or use mine. But in this one you're actually supposed to actually type in 3069 because that's the number of the heritage unit. Um, and then once you typed in 3069, um... We're going to add three black stained glass blocks behind, like that, and then a red concrete after that. And then we're going to add smooth quartz stairs, three of them going back, like that. And then let's add a 3x3 three three of smooth quartz block above on the top, or in between there. And then let's add two smooth quartz slabs in the middle there. So it looks just like that. And uh, once that's done, there's a few things we gotta do. So let's grab the acacia trap door and the light gray stained glass pane. And on both sides, the very front black stained glass pane is gonna have a light gray stained glass pane sticking out. And then two acacia trap doors above the windows. So it looks just like that. And uh, the train is already, um, the cab and the bottom is, like, completely done now because, uh, we did all the debug stick stuff and all that. And, uh, all the detail is done, so, um, it looks pretty good so far, honestly. Um, now let's grab the red concrete, and we're gonna add six red concrete going back right here. Just like that, and on the right side, we're going to add a 2x5 underneath that yellow concrete. And then we're going to um, actually just leave a block and add a red concrete on the bottom there. And now let's grab the smooth quartz slab and the nether brick slab. And behind this one red concrete here, we're going to add... Um, a smooth quartz slab and we're gonna connect this entire row in with smooth quartz slabs all the way until we get to there like that and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side staring behind this six block long thing all the way to there just like that and now let's grab the nether brick slab and you see this axle with the acacia button on the top well, lining up with the acacia button, we're going to replace the smooth quartz slab with a nether brick slab on both sides, like that. So it's symmetrical there. And, uh, once that's done, um, we're actually going to add a red concrete, um, behind the nether brick slab on both sides. And they're going to leave a block and add another, so it looks just like that. Um, now let's go to the left side, and above these six red concretes, we're going to add acacia slabs, like that. And you know what, you see this row of, uh, red concrete and yellow concrete here? We're going to repeat that row going back a block on the left side and then um we're gonna grab the red sandstone wall and the normal sandstone wall now and they're gonna add a red sandstone wall here a regular sandstone wall and then two red sandstone walls and then behind the actually not let's add a red concrete there and then let's uh Fill behind these red sandstone walls, red concrete, and behind the regular sandstone wall, yellow concrete. 
Now behind there, we're going to add red concrete, a yellow concrete, and two red. And now behind the bottom block, we're going to make it so it's about, to count, we're going to add 12 more blocks, make this 13 blocks long, right here, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and I think we're actually going to do the same thing on the other side. Um, oh wait, first we got to do some stuff. So we're going to add two more um, red concrete behind there. And then add two more here. And then we're going to fill this line with red concrete, lining up with this one on the right side. So it looks just like that. Now let's add a red carpet above the red sandstone wall. Um, to cover it up, and up there we're going to add another red concrete to fill in that hole. And uh, now let's uh, fill um, it in with red concrete behind the acacia slabs. And above let's add yellow concrete, and then this whole part should be filled in. And now, um, you see these rows of red concrete we did? Well, underneath the red concrete, we're going to add yellow concrete on both sides. And then we're going to fill all this in with um, red concrete on both sides. Now let's add another row of two red concrete and yellow concrete over here. But we're not going to do any more because we have to do that oak trapdoor detail. Now let's add three red concrete on the top there, like that. And you know what? Now there's a big thing of details we need to do. They're vents. Um, so on the right side we're going to add two bedrock. Then leave two blocks. Add another bedrock. And then we're going to add two red concrete in the middle, like that. And then we're going to add one behind there, like that, and one there as well. And let's grab the acacia stairs and the acacia slab. Let's add an acacia slab in this block. And then let's add an acacia stairs facing toward the back, right here, and an acacia slab toward the back. And let's fill the rest of those blocks in with red concrete. Now let's fill all these foreign blocks in that aren't red concrete with red carpet. So all the acacia slabs, stairs, and bedrock will have red carpet on the top like that. And on the right side, we're going to add two ladders on those bedrocks like that. And then underneath these two bedrocks with ladders, we're going to add birch buttons. And now on the right side, this is a bit tough to explain, but we're going to add um, a birch button here. Leave a block, add a birch button. And then leave a block, add a birch button. And now we're going to go toward the front. We're going to add another birch button above, like that front birch button there is going to have another. And then diagonal up toward the back on that yellow concrete, we're going to add a birch button. Now let's grab the acacia button. And the rest of these yellow concretes on this 3x5 are going to have acacia buttons. And now let's grab the acacia fence gate. We're going to add two right here and open them for a ladder. And, um, now let's grab the acacia button, and we're going to add one right on the top there, um, for detail. Now let's grab the red sandstone wall, and normal sandstone wall. Let's add two red sandstone wall, and a regular sandstone wall. And, now let's add on this singular red concrete, an acacia trapdoor. 
And now let's grab the acacia button and add five acacia buttons on the yellow concrete there. Leave two blocks and add two acacia buttons like that. And now this middle block is going to have an acacia trap door facing toward the back. Now let's fill this in with red concrete. Now on the left side, we're going to add four acacia buttons here, like that. Leave a block, add five, and then leave two blocks, and add two. And these are for like logos and stuff. Now we're going to add two birch buttons right here, underneath this vent here. And two over here as well, for detail. Now let's grab the acacia stairs, and add three right here. Acacia slabs on the sides. And then a 3x3 three three after that. And then let's add three acacia stairs back there as well. And then let's add an acacia fence gate for the horn. Um, and now let's add red concrete behind here, like that. And, uh... Now let's grab the oak trap door, and we're going to add two opened oak trap doors on top of each other. And let's open them facing toward the back. Um, like this. And this is what it should look like, and that's for more yellow going up. And now let's add red carpet above those oak trap doors, like that. And once that's done, um, actually this part's pretty much done except for the railing. On, uh, both sides actually, surprisingly. Um, actually there's one more thing we gotta do. And let's grab the stone button. And the birch button, or acacia button. And let's add a stone button right there. Then an acacia button. Leave a block, add another acacia button. And these two blocks should just be left alone. And, uh, now let's move on a bit more. So we're going to add a row of red concrete, four blocks tall. And then we're going to add another row of that. And, uh, now on the left side, we're going to leave two blocks and add a red concrete here. And then leave a block going up and add another. So we're going to destroy this middle block like that. And now we're going to add two bedrock right there, one in the middle, two by two here, one here, and just one down there actually. I'm going to add two red concrete there, and uh, now let's uh, fill this behind here with um, red concrete. And fill these in with nether brick slabs. And, uh, now let's grab the acacia trap door. And let's add an open one right here for detail. And then a stone button. And then we're gonna add another one right there, like that. And then we're gonna add a birch button on that concrete. And now let's add two open, um, dark oak trap doors. Now let's work on the right side. So we're going to add, um, two bedrock behind there, like that. Then we're going to add three nether brick slabs behind there, like that. And two red concrete behind there as well. And now let's add two by two of red concrete underneath there. And the top two concretes are going to have birch buttons. And we're also going to add a birch button on that top red concrete as well. And now let's add two more nether brick slabs right there. And then fill this in with bedrock as well. And then we're going to add another bedrock there with two red concrete above. Now on the right side, um... This part's going to be a bit different, so we're going to grab acacia stairs and red sandstone wall. Let's add an acacia stairs here, a red sandstone wall, and then an upside down acacia stairs. 
And behind there, let's add a red concrete to patch up holes, you know. Now let's fill this top row in with the, um, red concrete on both sides. And now let's add yellow concrete on both sides there. And a red concrete right there, just like that. And let's add two yellow concrete above. And now let's add a bedrock up here on both sides. And uh, now let's um, grab the oak stairs and the oak trap door. Now let's add oak stairs on the sides facing toward the middle. And then oak trap doors facing toward the sides, or opened onto the sides, just like that. And let's actually add more yellow concrete behind there to patch up holes, like that. And let's grab red banners. And on the left side, we're going to fill that in with red banners. And on the right side, um, it's actually a bit different. We're just going to place a banner on the oak stairs. And above there's this special banner. Um, there's a, a lot of stuff on it, so we're going to do it later. Um, right now, we're just going to um, focus on more detail. So let's add an upper caseous slab on the outer parts of the um, bedrock. And then an acacia stairs right there, like that. With an open birch fence gate, just like that. For the lights. Now above, let's add a yellow concrete. And on that yellow concrete, we're going to add an oak sign, like that. Now on the sides, let's add oak stairs, like that. Now let's add sideways, upside down acacia stairs. And then above, let's add oak slabs. And let's also add two oak slabs here, like that. And now let's grab the red concrete and fill this middle row in with red concrete. And now we can't see the messy inside of the train anymore because. While there is a lot of holes, they're all patched. Now it's an acacia stairs on the sides there, like that. Then two nether brick stairs up here. Then an acacia stairs. And then the rest will be nether brick stairs. Now it's an upside down sideways acacia stairs on both sides. And then the rest is going to be upside down nether brick stairs. Now we're going to fill this in with oak slabs on both sides. And now we're going to fill this in with acacia trap doors. Except for um, this middle block. Apparently I didn't do anything there, so we're not going to do anything there. Um, let's see, uh... Really all we got to do is two special banners and the railing and debug stick stuff, and that's it. So, uh, let's actually do the debug stick stuff first. So, let's grab the debug stick, the birch button, and a block of your choice. And we're going to debug stick a birch button onto that acacia stairs. And we're going to debug stick a stone button onto the... This nether brick slab there, like that. And now it's time for the special banners. So, uh, I actually gotta remember how to do this because it's a really, um, detailed banner. Oh, I also forgot to do something. Let's add opened dark oak trap doors, right there, like that. And let's grab the loom, the red banner, the white die, and five red die. That's only for the first banner. So let's see, um, what did I do? So first we're going to grab the red banner in there. And with the white die, we're going to do a white field mason. So we're going to make this have bricks. 
like that. Then, um, we're gonna do a perfess inverted, which I used to call the halfway up. Then we're gonna do a red fess, which is this line in the middle, like that. Then we're gonna do a perp hail, which I don't know what that is. I think that's, yeah, so it's the halfway up, but instead of on the bottom, it's on the left, like that. Then we're gonna add a red pale, which I believe, yeah, is just that line in the middle. Like that. And then we're gonna do a red border, so it looks like this. And this should be our banner. And since they're exactly the same, I now have two. And on the right side, we're gonna add one right there. Really complicated for one banner. But, um, the reason that it's supposed to have that white stuff is because there's a bit of a white detail there, but it can't just be covered by banners. So I decided, well, banners can be custom, so I decided to make a crazy design for that. Oh, I also forgot something for the debug sticks as well. Let's get a birch button on this acacia slab on the left side. And now I believe we're done with all that. Now I just gotta do the door banner. Railing, done. So, uh, for the door banner, we're gonna grab the black banner, the loom, the red die, and the yellow die. And on the black banner, we're gonna do a red border, and then a yellow perfess inverted. Which is a yellow halfway up, I used to call it again. So it looks like this. After that big crazy banner we did right here, the door banner doesn't seem so hard. And we're gonna place it on these sides, like that. I actually wanna do vote, um, I'm probably gonna choose, um, what I wanna choose, but I'll still do the vote anyway. If you guys are watching this far, there's a vote I want you to do. Should I, um, do an item frame with the black stained glass paint in it instead? Or should I keep doing the door banner? Most of you probably won't even see this vote, but if you are seeing this, well, thank you. Please leave it in the comments what you think for the vote. There is a chance that this will not get any votes. So it automatically will probably be door banner. Um, but if you guys want to choose, um, leave it in the comments. Maybe I'll do this vote. Who knows? Um, anyway. So, uh, oh, be right back. Alright, back guys, so all we gotta do is the railing, so we're gonna grab the acacia fence, string, red carpet, and acacia stairs. And we're gonna add two acacia fence up here on the right side, then two more, then we're gonna add two more, and turn that into a 2x2, two two. and in between the bottoms they're gonna add string and red carpet. And two layers of red carpet above, actually. And, and a whole row of it up here. So it looks like that. And then we're going to add an acacia fence right here. With four more acacia fence going down, like that. And then a string right here, with two red carpet above. And then let's add two acacia fence with an acacia stairs above. <laughs> Very complicated. Sorry guys. They're gonna leave a block. Two acacia fence. And keep leaving a block and adding two. And from this point on it's not even complicated. And um, it should um, be connected to the birch fences there with white carpet. Add string in between. 
with red carpet on there. And now I just gotta do the left side and we'll be done. So, uh, let's leave two blocks, add two acacia fence, leave a block, a two by two of acacia fence, and an acacia stairs up here. And let's add a string between there and two in front of there. Let's add red carpet everywhere. Now let's add two acacia fence down here. Leave a block, two acacia fence, and keep leaving a block and adding two acacia fence. Until it should be leaving a block from here, except we're actually going to add a 2x2 two two of acacia fences connected to the birch. So it's that big fence there. Fence thing. And then we'll add string in between. Red carpet above. And then once you finish the carpet, then it will be the moment of truth. We will be done. The, um... CN 3069 Wisconsin Central Heritage Unit. Now, I actually made this a while ago, but it still looks really good. Um, this took me a long time to make. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm actually really glad I saw it in real life. Um, next tutorial will be the UP Patch Cotton Belt GP60, which I built 10,005. And it was a request by uh, DRGW. 5378, I'm pretty sure his name is. Actually, he changed his name, but you get the idea. Then we're going to do the CSX SG70AH, requested by CSX6211 Productions. Then the PRR, Pennsylvania Railroad, RS27, which was requested by Land and the Train. And then, I'm not sure what I'll do after that. Um, But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one, which should be out tomorrow hopefully peace